Jesus, meet us here today. Meet us here. We're here for your presence. Can't go back to the beginning. I can't control what tomorrow will bring. But I know here in the middle is the place where you promised to be I'm not enough unless you come will you meet me here again cause all I want is all you
your staff they comfort me you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies and you anoint my head with oil my cup it overflows surely goodness and your mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall get an opportunity right here in this moment in this holy place to do something that we saw the New Testament church do daily we get to pray for one another this whole entire week and leading up to today God has orchestrated this moment for at least one individual in this place and even as the prayer team came in here early this morning, we got here, the team gets here about 6.45, and we start our preparation for this moment. And even as the prayer team got here today, they felt the same thing that I had been feeling all week. That God wants to meet somebody right here, right now, and he wants to impart wisdom into their life. Somebody under the sound of my voice has a very, very, very important decision that they're about to make. And God wants to help you with that decision today. So this is where we all come in. I'm not going to ask anybody. I'm not going to ask for you to lift your hand if that's you. We're not going to go through those motions. But we, what we are going to do is we are going to accept the ability that God has given us to pray. The Bible says that the prayers of a righteous person availeth much. And we're going to pray for our brother or our sister. We don't know who it is. And there may be more than one in this room. But I, I feel very confident that, that there's at least one person in this room that has a huge decision that they're about to make. It may be life or death. And what we're going to do in this moment, in this holy place, man, I feel his presence so strong in this place. I hope that you're feeling it. Come on. And if you're not, ask God to sensitize your heart to his presence because it's, it's thick in this room right now. And I can tell because some of you don't know what to do. <laughs> and it's okay. It's okay. But God's here in that way, in that, in that strength, in that power to show this person that he is still supreme and he is still on the throne. And that he is going to tell them, the way, he's going to give them, he's going to impart wisdom into their life today so that they can make the right decision. So can we just close our eyes all over the place? And can we, uh, can we just begin to pray from our own heart as if we, it was us that needed that guidance?
guidance and that wisdom and that discernment. Can we pray for our brothers and sisters? Better yet, why don't you just grab, grab, grab the shoulder of your neighbor right now all across this room. I believe there's power in touch as well. The Bible says to lay the hands on the sick and they shall recover. He didn't say just pray. He said lay hands on them. So we're going to lay hands on our brothers and our sisters to our left and to our right. And I want you to begin to pray for them as if it's their life that needs this wisdom. God, today we just thank you for interrupting a corporate worship setting, for interrupting our thoughts and our desires and our worship today. To, to meet here in this place, in this holy place, where your presence is so abounding right now. It's so palpable, God. We are so thankful for your presence. Because without your presence, what we're talking about right now is just empty words. We're just going through the motions. But we're so thankful that your presence is here to charge the very words that come out of our mouth. And God, right now we pray for our brother and our sister, whoever this person is, that is in this room, that is dealing with one of the largest, if not the largest decisions that they have in front of them that they've ever made. It's right in front of them. And we stand next to our brother and our sister. And we ask that God, before they leave this place today, that you impart wisdom as only you can do. And give them the decision that they need to make. Go ahead and light the pathway for their feet to follow. And God, we look forward to the day that we hear the good things, the great things that come from this moment in your presence. In the name that is above every other name, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, and the church body said, amen. amen. Can you give the Lord a praise real quick? Come on. Yeah. I love worship moments like this. I love worship moments like this. I love it. And that's what's missing in church today. We don't, we don't stop long enough to let God just be God and to let him speak. But I love it when we get a chance to do that. And I had to do it because I heard time and time again in my spirit. And then even today, as a team prepped, that this moment was a moment of destiny for somebody. So thank you so much for, for enabling God's presence to do that in somebody's life. Thank you so much. Now, can we continue in worship right now? Come on, just maybe just lift your hands as an act of surrender as we continue to worship the Lord.